Bonjour, do you know your subject pronouns in French? Well, today we are going to practice our subject pronouns in French ou pronoms sujet. So, let's start. If you want the support guide that is available with this lesson, then join our membership and become a member where you have access to the live lessons, you have access to a lot of things as well as all the guides that are post on YouTube here. Okay, today's exercise is going to be quite simple, but I think very important. Actually, if you don't know what the subject pronouns are in French, then you are going to learn a lot of things. And if you know them already, you're going to maybe try to learn today the role and why it is so important to be able to replace a subject by a subject pronoun in pronoun in French, okay? Let's have a look at the list of the sujet pronouns. So what are the subject pronouns in, in English? It's when you say I, you, he, she, we, they, okay? These are the subject pronouns. They are the subject of the sentence. Now, why is it so important to know what they are? That's because Um, when you come to conjugating, especially in French, you must know the ending that relates to the subject pronoun you're using, okay? For example, in English, very quickly, if you talk about to walk, marcher, okay, to walk, you're going to conjugate with I, we know it's walk in a present tense. You is walk. But when it comes to he and she, it's walks, So certainly because the subject pronoun is he and she, we know that in English you have to add an S to the conjugated verb, okay? Well, in French, it's harder than that, okay? Because we've got diverse types of endings that relate to the subject pronoun. Now, let's have a look at the list of those subject pronouns, okay? So, la liste des sujets pronoms, c'est ça. Pour je, okay, is I, okay, je. I. Tu is you. I will understand in a minute why we have two ways of saying you. Il is he. <clears throat> Elle is she. On is one, but it means we as well. Okay, I'll, I'll go through them in a minute. Okay, nous represents we. Vous represents you. Again, il is they, and elle is they. Okay, so let's have a look at them in details. Now, for je, it is I. We know that. And sometimes you will see it as J apostrophe, je, depending on whether the verb that follows has a vowel or not. Okay, tu is you. But we've got vous, which means you as well. Well, You use to when you are talking informally to someone that you know really well. You use to when you are talking to one person only, not a group as in you. You too, okay? You wouldn't use uh, to here and you would use vous. So vous is the opposite. Vous would be used to someone that you refer to as vous is someone that uh, you don't know really well and uh, that is usually older than you uh, in uh, terms of a setting such as a teacher, pupil or an elderly person uh, that you don't know or even a stranger that is the same age as you. You would say vous to that person. But you would say vous as well if you refer to a group of people, so more than one. Uh, vous deux, you two, okay, talking about more than one person, okay? So two, informal, someone you know very well, probably a child as well, you would refer to these children as two, but they would probably refer you back as vous in a classroom setting, okay? It could be that they say two because uh, it's natural to them to say two. Now, So we've got the difference between tu and vous. So what is on here, which means we and nous as well? Well, on is more informal as well. On y va, let's go. Nous y allons, let's go as well. But you are using nous uh, when it's more formal, okay? And 
on when it's a little bit informal but also to refer as one one has done that on a tous fait ça uh, we did it all we did all, all of that on pense que one thinks that okay so if you're not sure i do have a video on nous versus on and the difference between the two but what's interesting between on and nous is that when it comes to endings and conjugation, they are not conjugated with the same endings. One is seen as, and I'm going to raise that to make it um, clearer, one is seen as a singular group, okay, singular group, okay, and the other one is seen as the plural group. Okay, and we split that in two. And in France, when you're a child, you learn this order: je, tu, il, elle, nous, elle. Sorry, je, tu, il, elle, on, and then nous, vous, il, elle. Okay. So let's have a look at the plural group. Nous is we, talking about you and I. Toi et moi, nous. Vous is you, talking about an inform, a more formal person. Okay, or a group of more than one person. Um, Two people, a group of one. Is it, is it a group if there is only you? Now, il, they. Now, you refer to they if you talk about a group of uh, boys, okay, or a group of things that are masculine. But also, you refer to a group of feminine and masculine things. So if you have a group of 50 girls and 50 boys, you would refer them to them as Il, okay, il, uh, because grammatically speaking, they are always stronger boys. That is grammatically speaking, of course. Now, when do you refer to elle as the pronoun? It's when the group is uh, mainly, uh, no, only women, or the group refers to feminine nouns, okay? And there is no masculine at all in that group, okay? And that's when you refer to the group as they. Okay, so let's have a look at an exercise now. What I would like you to do is replace the subject pronoun by the right sujet pronoun. Okay. Uh, sorry, replace the subject by the right sujet pronoun. Okay, now let's have a look at the first sentence. Luc range les jouets et ceux de son frère. Luc range les jouets et ceux de son frère. Now, we need to spot the subject. The subject is Luc. Can you see that? Luc. Okay. Now, Luc is the subject, okay? The verb is range. And I'm going to write it here. Range. There you go. And the, my goodness, what am I doing? And the, the complement, the complément, which is the complement adding on to the sentence, is les jouets et ceux de son frère. Okay? So, Luc range les jouets et ceux de son frère. Now, I would like you to replace Luc by a sujet pronoun. So, the sujet pronoun are as follow. Is it je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, or elle? Well, Luc, if you replace Luc by <coughs> a pronoun, is il. So, I'm going to write il. Okay? So, il range les jouets et ceux de son frère. Okay, so why knowing the pronoun is so important? It's because when you are going to to say it out loud in a conversation, you're going to say, well, Luc range les jouets, de son, de, les jouets et ceux de son frère. The importance of knowing what subject pronoun is Luc is that the ending of the verb will have to be accurate. And we know that for il, the ending of a present tense of a first group verb is i. So, il range les jouets et ceux de son frère. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So, Luc is putting away, by the way, the toys and those of his brother. Okay, toys, les jouets. Okay, that's what it means. Let's have a look at the next one. Tom et moi mangeons ensemble. So, identify the subject 
Tom et moi. There you go. Tom et moi. So, Tom et moi is the subject. Where is the verb? It's here. Mangeons. OK? Ensemble. Together. Tom et moi mangeons ensemble. If you replace Tom et moi by a sujet pronoun, which would it be? Tom et moi. So let's have a look at the subject pronoun. Okay, I'm going to erase that. Okay, when you know where the plural is. So because it's Tom and moi, it's definitely plural, isn't it? So it could be either nous, vous, il or elle, or maybe on, because on is we as well. If it's Tom et moi, Tom and I, Tom and me. Where do you place Tom and me? It's not je, no, because I'm on my own. Okay, tu, because you're on your own. Il and elle, he and she is on their own. On could be that, but it's not, and I'll show you why in a minute. Could it be nous, Tom et moi, so it's Tom and I. Yes, of course, it's not you, because I am in that group. So it's nous, definitely nous. So I'm putting nous here. And I know it's not on because the ending is ONS. And always when you're conjugating a verb with nous, you add ONS to the end of the verb. Okay, and that's how I know it's not on because if it had been on, it would be an E at the end of it. Okay, so nous mangeons ensemble. We are eating together. Now try to do the next one. Ces gens sont incroyables. These people are incredible. Okay, ces gens sont incroyables. So let's have a look. Where is the subject at the beginning of the sentence? There you go. Ces gens, these people. Ces gens sont incroyables. Okay, now, if you repeat ces gens, okay, these people, by a subject pronoun, which would it be? Now we know that this group here is a plural. So because we are talking about ces gens, it is a plural, isn't it? Is it nous? Mm -mm. Vous? No. But it is they. Ces gens. These people. We're talking, and we're not in it. So which is it? Is it il or elle? Well, because we don't know the gender of these people, we can only assume that there is a mix of them. So we have two always go back to the masculine they. Ils sont incroyables. Ils sont incroyables. Okay? And again, if you wanted to translate these people are incredible, you would need to know what these people refer to in terms of subject pronoun in order to conjugate are properly. Ils sont. Je suis. Tu es. Il est. Elle est. On est. Nous sommes. Vous êtes. Ils sont. Elles sont. Okay? Let's have a look at the next one. Charlotte et Rémi habitent très loin. So Charlotte and Rémi live very far, très loin. Now I can identify quite easily that Charlotte and Rémi are the subject of my sentence, okay? Because habit is definitely the verb here, okay? So that's the verb, okay? Très loin, very far, okay? Charlotte et Rémi. If you were to replace Charlotte et Rémi into a subject pronoun, what would it be? That's right. Charlotte et Rémi would be they. Okay. But I've got a boy and I've got a girl. Charlotte et Rémi. A girl and a boy, more like. Is it il or is it elle? Well, it is il because we have a boy in our sentence here. So it is il again. Okay. So ils habitent très loin. They live very far. Okay. Ils habitent très loin. Once again, it's very important for you to know the subject pronouns because then you will conjugate it with the right ending accurately. Okay. So let's have a look at the next one. Paul et toi. Allez voir un film au cinéma. Paul et toi, allez voir un film au cinéma. So we've got Paul et toi and you. Allez is the verb, okay, which is to go. 
voir to see a film and that's the complement au cinéma. So Paul and you are going to see a film at the cinema. Paul and you. Where is the sujet pronom here? So what do we need here? So is it nous? No, because it's not Paul and I. We, I'm not in it. Is it you? Vous, Paul et toi. Is it there? No, because it's you. You are in that group. So it is definitely vous. Okay, so vous allez voir un film au cinéma. And I can uh, truly say that this is the right answer because a Z, E Z reflects always the conjugation with. Oh, why? Sorry about that. With vous. Okay? So. In your support guide, you have more, but I want you to try to do the next three on your own. That's it for me. Remember, leave a comment and subscribe to Learn French with Alexa. And if you want to become a member, you have access to all the support guides that I produce here on my YouTube channel. Bisous, bisous. Au revoir.